are living in an artificially induced state of consciousness that resembles sleep. The movement was begun by a scientist who discovered, quite by accident, the signals being sent. We have been lulled into a trance. Please understand, they are safe as long as they are not discovered. They want their weapons. Look out for Charlie. Oh, Charlie. I want that son of a bitch dead. I want him dead. This isn't new, but this is completely relevant. This is the Ford package delivery robot driving around in his own little Ford SUV minivan. And just like Amazon sending out drones to deliver products, they care. They care so much about your delivery experience that they're going to send out a, a DARPA tech robot to deliver packages. And it begs the question, why? And the answer is, they couldn't figure out a way to creatively implement it anywhere else. And it's imperative to them that they do implement this. Now let's take a look at this. You got this van, pulls up, got the robot inside, it's going to come out. And you've just ordered a turntable and a Beastie Boys record. Now, the Beastie Boys record, it's your choice on whether it's, let's say, licensed to ill, where they were talking about groping girls in Spanish Fly, or Check Your Head, where they were meeting the Dalai Lama. That's totally up to you. But, you got this robot that's all put together in the van, coming out, it's all folded up, and he's going to unfold and he's going to walk the package up to your door and take off. It, here's the transport and the robot. Where have I seen this before? Oh yeah, Star Wars. These are battle droids. And it's identical. Identical. Okay, so here's a photo of the, the Ford delivery droid bringing your box of uh, Look Out for Charlie swag up to your house. I don't even have any swag. You better buy the bug out bags, kids. So, here's a Star Wars droid looking identical to it, standing up with no head, like a camera for a head, you know. So, it's walking up. If you were a kid, you know, some little cretin riding around on your BMX bike, and you saw this going down, what would be your first instinct? Because I can tell you mine. Mine would have been I'm going to try to knock this thing over. Whether I bip it with my bike or, or or just get off the bike out of sheer frustration and try to knock it over. Right? And it's not going to be just kids doing this. Because there is a total and complete psyop to this. A psyop beyond psyops. And this is the shoehorn to bring it in to bring all this in and this is how it's gonna go because guess what they're carrying your packages yours they're carrying your shit and you want to protect your shit because it's coming to you so what will end up going down is they will have drones and Ford robots bringing you your stuff and then suddenly these things are going to start getting knocked over robbed drones shot down and they steal the goods and it's your shit so you're gonna get pissed and this is really clever because most of their fucking operations, like this whole thing that's going on right now, is clown world shit that you can see from a mile away. But most people wouldn't see this coming. And to have these things handling your stuff, your private property that you're waiting for like Christmas, and then it gets stolen by some motherfucker, that is almost genius.
So you've got, you know, millions and billions of dollars put into this robot drone delivery service and shit's getting stolen. Uh, what are they going to do? Hire a security guard or a cop to follow around each drone and each robot? No, it defeats the purpose. It defeats the purpose entirely. So what do they have to do? They're going to weaponize them. They're going to have to weaponize them to protect your goods. That's the shoehorn. That's how this gets slipped in. So they go from carrying packages, totally innocent, to needing to be weaponized to protect your property. It only makes sense, right? So that's how we go from this to this in a matter of of nanoseconds on the timeline it really is almost fucking genius because they know that people fall for this over and over and over and over and they never learn and then there's a new generation that has been raised to believe the same beliefs as the people before that these people somehow give a shit about you they don't give a shit about you at all the bottom line is this right here is the end result and this is what they're trying to achieve not some delivery robot billions of dollars fucking DARPA robot to deliver you your <laughs> your Beastie Boys record or your your skin cream or your your squat soap that you saw on some YouTube commercial but what gets even crazier is that this can tie in to the video that I just put out about 5g and what might happen is well we don't want to have a, a gun because you know lethal force over a package is that's absurd that's excessive so what we'll do is we'll equip these delivery robots and these delivery drones with 5G millimeter wave weapons, active denial system that will work off the 5G grid. Hmm. And then if somebody gets, you know, too close to or comes at it in an aggressive manner or the drone a, a non-lethal 5G, what would the word be? A motivational signal will be sent to motivate that person to, to get the hell away from your property. There's an underlying and glaring fact to all this. And that is that at some point, if they don't weaponize these, it's going to open up an entire new frontier swashbuckling land pirates literally could you imagine driving around in your honda crx with a pirate flag fucking taking down drones taking down robots and stealing the goods and making off with all that booty and pirate treasure I mean, that's, it's inevitable unless they weaponize these fucking things. The high seas of America's streets. I mean, if things weren't so ridiculously abysmal right now with all this clampdown, it could actually make things fun and interesting again. I would pirate the shit out of America's highway system. But what I'm telling you is that all these factors put into the cauldron equals... This needing to be turned into this.